Good morning. Sally, what are you doing? Huh? So somebody left my power grease gun out in the grass, in the mud, in the rain the other day, and now it don't work. So I'm having to resort back to the peasantry of farming and use a regular grease gun. There she go. There's a little old spot right here. I'm afraid it's gonna be the death of me one day. Maybe one day I'll get a chance to fix it. Well, we have been incredibly, incredibly uh, blessed and cursed. So we have had, in the month of July, we have had rain almost every single day. That sounds like a good thing, but we're we're probably over a month behind. We're going we're gonna to take this opportunity and we're going to cut down some hay that's going to be wrapped for haylage. So we're going we're gonna to put two mowers on it, knock it out, and uh, then tomorrow we'll come back and we will uh, we'll rake it, bale it, wrap it. All right, so we just got started. I did the uh, I did the first round with him, so he knows the property lines and everything. I'm gonna go grab a second mower. We're gonna put two mowers on this. Uh, try to make everything a little bit more uniform. That way, we don't end up with some that's drier than others. And uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna knock down about 40, 50 acres of sorghum today. We're doing it. We are doing it. I've got, uh, I've got a new idea 5209 hooked to the back of this John Deere. And uh, it's not doing a bad job for it to be as old of a mower as it is. It's not doing a bad job. It is wanting to wrap up around one of these drive shafts over here on the side. Um, it's, picking up, it's picking up some hay that's on the ground and it is, it is making it. Uh, wrap around the drive shaft, so I'm gonna have to get off every now and then and uh, clean that off. But other than that, we're uh, we're knocking down some tall sorghum. This stuff's about seven. Shoot, I'd say it's about seven feet tall, and uh, we're gonna end up wrapping this for haylage, and uh, it should put out should put out a few bales. So we're gonna keep cutting. I just want to take a second to show you this is what I'm talking about with it wrapping up. What happens is there'll be a big clump right here in the windrow that I just went by. It'll hit this uh, slip clutch and it'll just start wrapping. But I also wanted to just take a second to show you how tall this stuff is. I mean, I'm, I'm 6'2", and that's well over my head. That's probably every bit of over seven foot. Uh, but yeah, we're going to uh, hopefully be able to stop getting out of the tractor at some point as soon as I get this stuff unwrapped. All right, so real quick, I just wanted to show the difference between a three-point uh, disc mower and a MoCo. I kind of... I kind of want to explain the difference. Hang on, let me turn you around so you can see. All right, so right here in front of me, the pass that I'm, that I'm driving over right now is with a disc mower, no conditioner. The pass next to it, right there on, just to the left is with a mower conditioner. 
So two different two different styles of cut. Some people prefer a moco. Some people uh, are fine with just a three point disc mower. The advantage of a uh, disc mower is it lays it all flat. It lays it all uniform. Everything is laying the same. It's not a not a big pile in the middle. Where a moco will dry it down a little bit faster because it breaks the stem, but it puts it. Some of them put it a little bit more in a pile. The newer ones have uh, some adjustments that will lay it out like a three-point mower wheel. Um, but on this particular new idea of 5209, uh, it kind of puts it, it, it puts it a little bit more together in a, almost like it's, a, it's already been raked. Um, so yeah, I mean, there, there's pros and cons to both, but I just wanted to take a second to uh, to let you see a side-by-side a, a -side comparison of what a more conditioner, how it will put it in a row together versus a, a uh, just a straight three-point disc mower that lays it all across the almost the whole width of the, uh, the cutter bar. Good morning, good morning. So we are fixing to go bail up what we cut down yesterday. Um, I showed you how thick it was, I showed you how tall it was. So we are fixing, we're fixing to go get after it. We're gonna, we are gonna chop this hay. Uh, we're gonna chop it, we're gonna wrap it, we're putting it up green. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Come along with me. All right, first one of the day. Just hit the ground. It's breaking it, or bending it, not breaking it, but. That's more like what we're after. And little small pieces like that. That's what them knives are supposed to do. They're supposed to chop that crop down to a smaller size when it goes in. Sweet. Now we got about 100, 150, about 150 more to make. All right, we had a few mishaps. I plugged the baler one time. Uh, plugged the baler, the knife got disengaged somehow. I had to figure out how to put them back in. Uh, ran out of net wrap, which I knew was gonna happen, but after you, uh, after you plug a baler, you get out unstop it and then you uh then you try to sit there and figure out what the knives are doing and then uh, run out of that wrap and kind of time starts adding up on you so long story short we we took about an hour and a half hiatus and uh we've had to go get the wrapper there's only two of us right now so he's trying to rake and get ahead of me and grab and it just ain't really working out that well, so we've got a third guy on the way, and um, hopefully we can start rocking and rolling here pretty soon. I'm going to have to leave before it's all said and done, so we're trying to get as much out of the way to uh, to allow me to leave, and uh, yeah, that's where we are.
too available. I keep waiting on this stuff to get dinner and we can speed up a little bit, but it just ain't. I mean, it, it is absolutely not thin enough at all. It is long and it is stemmy and it is pretty rank. And uh, the baler don't like it, the tractor don't like it. We're pulling some hills along with trying to bail all this hill. It's just, there's a tough condition right here. Part of the reason it's like this, and I'm sure y'all have noticed, I haven't put out a video in about, probably about a month or so, because like I said in the beginning of the video, we have been wet and we have been getting a lot of rain. I bet it has rained almost every day in the month of July, almost. If not every day, at least every other day, maybe. But we are trying to get it done. We, uh, we've got 149, I'm making 150 right now. Um, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to get it done. We got just a little bit more. Well, that's gonna be the end of today's video. We had a lot of issues. We had the main problem was the baler kept plugging up. Um, kept plugging up i couldn't get it to, to not plug up i mean i was running in second gear and we were still bailing uh 20 bells an hour according to the monitor so uh like i said just major not major issues but anyway still had some issues it was not very efficient but we got most of it up they're gonna they're gonna finish it up um i had some bonus footage that i was gonna put on tiktok but for some reason, TikTok decided that after I made the video that they didn't want the video, so something happened to it. I don't know how to get it back. It's gone, it's in the uh, Tiki Talk sphere, and I don't know how to get it back. So with that being said, I appreciate y'all watching. I know it's been a little bit since I posted a video. It's been raining almost every day, so we really ain't had a chance to do a whole lot. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to be able to get back on schedule with some videos. Uh, so stay tuned for them like i said i appreciate you watching i thank you and uh if you will help me grow this page a little bit we uh i would like to get to 500 subscribers we're not far from it um so if y'all can help me get there i would greatly appreciate it until next time y'all be safe all right so me and little man here we just found our tiktok that i was talking about uh, I told y'all I had a hard time with the baler plugging up and, and not wanting to feed hay in right. So if you're on TikTok, go check it out. Um, it's Circle G Farms on TikTok. Um, go on and, go on and uh, give me a follow and uh, give me a couple likes on that. Y'all have a good one.